Oh man, if these are the I'm going to lose my probably my favorite pair of Yeezys. What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I have a $1200 Hypebeast Streetwear mystery box. Now this is probably my third or fourth mystery box I've done on this channel. If you haven't seen the others, I'll link them below. Anyway, I'm super hyped to get into this. I've been waiting about two weeks and I know two weeks isn't a long time, but when you order something online, you know you want it right away. But anyway, it's finally here. Let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm gonna open the box just like this so maybe you guys can get a look before I do. So let's just go ahead and open it. Okay, so the box is open. Let's go ahead and flip this. And right away, I already know what this is. This looks like a Yeezy 350 box. If this is real, and if it's the one I want, then I'm gonna freak out. Okay, so now it's open, and I see this right here. It looks like a Yeezy 350 box. I hope there's actual 350s in here. Let's go ahead and take it out. I'm trying not to look at everything else in here. So let's go ahead and just get these out, close this up real quick. So here we have a Yeezy 350 boost box. I mean, it looks legit, I'm not gonna lie. Doesn't look like it's some phony box. I did poke a hole in it, I already see that right there. Now I haven't looked at the uh, color code yet, so I don't know which one these are, but I'm hoping these are the zebras. So let's just go ahead and open them. So boom, right away. You got that paper. I've seen the Yeezy paper before. I've had the Belugas, but I sold them. So these look like they are the Butters. Okay, not my first choice, but not too bad. Let's get them out, actually. So boom, here you have it, guys. The Yeezy Butters. And these look very worn, I'm not going to lie. Um... Yeah, these are definitely worn, as you can see on the bottom right there. But, I mean, the condition isn't too bad. I can just clean these up. Let's get the other shoe out. Now, I'm assuming these are legit. They don't look fake or anything like that or feel fake. They feel legit. So, here's the other sneaker. I mean, it's pretty worn, but I'm not going to complain about it. I'll just clean them up. Insole right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you can see the wear on the outsole right there. The butters, I haven't seen them in hand, so I'm really happy to have these now. Should I keep them? Should I sell them? I don't know yet. We'll just have to see about that. Let's go ahead and move on to the next item. Forgot to mention the size. These are a size 9, and I'm like an 8.5, so these should fit me. Seeing them in person, I thought they would be a lot more yellow, but they're a lot more like whitish, creamish color, and the laces have like that more yellow, so that's pretty cool. I never knew that. Let's go ahead and move on to the next item. I'm just going to grab in here. It feels like a bag. And it is a Supreme bag. So there you have it, Supreme, Supreme. Let's go ahead and dig in. So I feel, I feel two things. Um, one is in plastic, so I'm just gonna take that one out. And it is a Supreme uh, New Era headband. Okay, so I know these released not too long ago, probably like a week or two ago. I'm not too sure. So here it is. I mean, I didn't go for these on drop day. I didn't know if they sold out quickly or not, but it is pretty cool for the winter time. It is getting really cold out. So it says Supreme right there, and then it has the New Era logo in the back. I'm assuming it's legit because it has all the packaging and it has the uh, sticker right there. So, so I think I'm just gonna keep it in the packaging for now because I don't know if I want to keep it. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna open it now. I, I do want to keep it. So. It's pretty soft. Um, it has the cardboard in here. Uh, this era, new era tag right there. So it is pretty cool. Let's actually just try this on real quick. It seems kind of small, so I don't know how it's gonna fit my big ass head. But there you have it. Supreme covers your ears and all that. So pretty cool. Maybe I'll do the rest of the unboxing with this on. So let's go ahead and move on to the next item. Actually. Let's uh, remove these tags because it's bothering me. So that should be good. Throw this thing back on. It's pretty comfortable, more comfortable than I thought it would be. There you go, fire. Next item up, we have another Supreme bag, it looks like. So wait, I'm an idiot. 
There was something else in that other bag. I didn't look at it yet. So here's the other bag. And this is a Supreme side bag. These dropped this season, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure they did. Hopefully you guys can get a good look at that. But it seems brand new. There's no tags on it though, so I'm not too sure. But you have the Supreme right there. You have the Supreme hit right there as well. Um, Supreme again, right here. That might be 3M, would be cool if it is. And then you just have the plain black strap. So this is pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty small, honestly. I've had one other Supreme bag before. It was a lot bigger than this. This one's kind of small, but it's all right. I can store some in here. I don't know what, but again, if I don't like it, I can always sell it. So let's go ahead and get into this Supreme bag right here. So in this bag right here, we have what feels like some small items, nothing like big. So first thing I'm pulling out are these Supreme balls. Um, these are pretty cool. Nothing too crazy, it just says Supreme, little box logo inside the balls. These actually do bounce, I believe, so there you go. Um, pretty cool, but honestly, I'm expecting a little more. Let's go ahead and fill this other item in here. It's super hard, and it is a Supreme, um, what are these called? The uh, lighters, what are the, there's a name for it, I forget. All right, I'm drawing a blank on what these are called, but it is a lighter, Supreme lighter right there. Um, pretty cool, never had this before. I've seen them online go for some good amount of money, money that I'm not willing to pay for a lighter, but it just says SUP right there, and it says Ream on the other side. Definitely gonna put it to good use, maybe light a candle or something, I don't know. Anyway, put that to the side. There is one other thing in here, and it is a pin. It says gross on it. And it is Supreme. So this is weird. Why does it, why does Supreme have a pin that says gross on it? Um, hopefully you guys can get a good look at that. It says gross right there. And it has a Supreme little tag right there. So, I mean, this is cool, I guess. I'll put it somewhere. I don't know where. Let's move on to the next item. Actually, before we move on, let's go ahead and get a quick little recap on what we got so far. So we have this Supreme headband, the Supreme um, side bag, Yeezy butters. We have the Supreme lighter and we have the Supreme balls. So a lot of Supreme so far, which I'm not complaining about. I would like some bape, so hopefully there's some bape in here. We'll see about that. Oh, and of course we have this random ass gross pin, Supreme pin. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on. Hopefully there's some more fire items in here. And after I get everything out, I'm gonna total everything up, see if the box is worth the money. Okay, so let's go ahead and get in here. I feel a piece of clothing. And this is a Mint Crew uh, t-shirt. So I never had anything from Mint Crew. I know about the brand, I follow them on Instagram. But first time getting anything from them, so this is pretty cool. The quality is pretty nice as well. The wash on this t-shirt is nice. It's not like a pure black. It has like that faded look. Um, on the tag, it says Mint Crew. Then it has like the Misfits uh, logo right there. So really cool t-shirt. Hopefully it's my size. And it is a size medium. I'm not complaining about this right here. I'm definitely gonna wear it. Let's go ahead and move on. I feel another bag, but let's go ahead and get another piece of clothing out. So this is another t-shirt from, I can't see this freaking, this is from Mint Crew as well. Um, this is like a gray t-shirt. It says Mint Crew right there. It has like that faded um, look right here. Inside it says Mint Crew, it is my size, size medium. So the quality of the shirts feel really nice. If you haven't gotten anything from Mint Crew, I'm gonna go ahead and recommend them because it's pretty nice, pretty soft. It looks a bit big, but I can wash it, dry it, no big deal. Let's go ahead and get the other item out. Actually, let's go ahead and get this bag out. So this is a Fear of God Essentials bag. Now, I did do a whole video on Fear of God Essentials. I had like some hoodies and a crew neck, but this right here looks like some denim, which I'm super happy about. I know this denim goes for like a good amount of money, maybe like 150 or to 200. Something around there. Let's go ahead and open this up. So here it is in this blue 
uh, wash. First time having Fear of God Essentials Denim in my hand. And honestly, the quality is pretty nice. As you can see, it has some distressing right there. It has a little hole towards the bottom, I guess the knee area. And then of course you have the ankle zips. Zippers feel very nice. You can hide it and do all of that. The wash is really cool. Hopefully it's my size. Oh my God, one thing I hate about jeans though, well some jeans is that the button fly. I cannot stand it. Like just give me a regular zipper. I just, I don't know. I just, maybe some of you guys can relate, but seriously, that's annoying. Um, inside, you have some Fear of God branding right there. It says Fear of God Essentials. And then on the back, it has the leather Essentials tag in white. So that's a pretty cool touch right there. I'm pretty sure the taper is going to be really nice. It still has the tag on it too as well. Um, the sizing, it is a 32. Now, I mean, I can fit a 32 definitely. But I just prefer like a 33. I like a little looser waist. But this will be just fine. Let's go ahead and move on. So we got some Mint Crew stuff. We have some Fear of God. Let's go ahead and move on. I feel another box. We're going to wait for that. Um, let's go ahead and grab this. This is a pair of track pants. And these are Mint Crew as well. So I got three items from Mint Crew. Um, these are like the gold colorway. It has mint crew embroidery right there. I don't know if you guys can catch that, but there it is. On the side, you have like this red, gold, yellow, gray, and white. Really cool colors to go on this track paint. The material feels really nice as well. It's like nice and light. It's not heavy. Bottom, you have like the little ankle zips. Taper is going to be really nice on this, I can tell. So really cool. It has the white drawstrings. Really dope pair of pants. I have seen these on the website, like the gray colorway, the black colorway. I just never pulled the trigger and got a pair, but I got a pair in here, so that's all that matters. So definitely going to keep these. Oh, and the size. I don't know the size. Um, so I don't see the size tag on these. Hopefully they fit. I'll try them on later. I'm not going to lie. This is probably one of the best mystery boxes I've gotten, and I'm not even done yet. But these items right here, I can definitely see myself wearing. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and move on. There can't be much left. I mean, I've gotten all this. So let's go. I'm going to save this box because I feel like it's something nice. So let's go ahead and move on. So here we have an Adidas. Uh, looks like a hoodie. Yeah, it is a hoodie. Um, okay, this is definitely worn because there's a nice little stain on there. But I mean, I'll wash it, I guess. Um, it's like this half zip right here. And then it has the Adidas logo right there. Pretty cool. I haven't seen anything like this. Um, on the back of the sleeve, you have the three stripes right there. So pretty cool. I can probably wear these with the, uh, with the butters I just got. So pretty cool. I like how it's pretty plain. Just has a little branding right there and the branding on the sleeves. So really nice. Let's see what size this is. Bro, why are they hiding the size tag? I don't understand. Um, this is a size large. So I'm a size medium, but I can probably make this fit. So that's pretty cool right there. Little Adidas uh, hoodie. Let's go ahead and move on. Okay, this looks like another pair of track pants. Okay, I've seen the tags. These are from PacSun and these are size medium. You have the red, black, and gold stripe right here. Now you can definitely tell the difference between the PacSun track pants and the Mint Crew ones. These PacSun ones are pretty heavy, pretty stiff. The Mint Crew ones are pretty light and pretty like stretchy. So pretty cool. I'm not going to complain about this one right here. Let's go ahead and move on. Wait, is that everything besides this box? So that was the last thing that's in here besides this box. Let's just go ahead and get it out. Oh man, it's a Yeezy 700 box. If these are the Wave Runners, I'm going to lose my... Wave Runners are probably my favorite pair of Yeezys. I haven't gotten a pair of 700s at all yet. I know the mobs came out a little bit ago. So, Yeezy Boost 700 right there. He got boost on the side. I'm not gonna look at the uh, color code. I'm just gonna have it be a surprise, but it is a size nine. Now I haven't seen 700s in hand yet, so I'm really happy about this. Let's go ahead and slide these out. 
get this paper out of here. And these are the Moivs. Okay, so not the Wave Runners. Kind of a disappointment. But the Moivs, I cannot complain. I do like this sneaker. Actually, let's go ahead and get both of them out. Push that to the side. So the Moiv 700 Yeezys still has the tag on it. So I'm assuming they're not worn, which is pretty good because the butter's pretty beat, but I'll clean them up. But these right here, really, really nice. From pictures, I thought these would be a lot more bulky, but these look like a normal like skate shoe I used to wear back in the day. So pretty cool. It has the three stripe hit hidden right here. I think that's 3M. You have the brown, the suede, you have the leather bunch of different materials on here and probably my favorite part about this sneaker is the gum outsole and of course you have the hidden boost right there really cool sneaker on the insole it says Yeezy Adidas you probably can't see that but really cool sneaker can't wait to wear these right here super happy I got these now I know these were sitting for a while these did not sell out honestly they probably are still sitting you could probably get them for like a little discount but I do love this sneaker I just didn't pull the trigger on it because I thought 300 is pretty steep but I got them so that's pretty cool I really wish these were the wave runners though maybe I can sell these I mean I doubt it probably get my money back for these actually I don't think I'm gonna sell them I'm gonna keep them definitely want a pair of 700s in my rotation eventually I'll get the wave runners I just don't want to pay resale for them but still pretty cool and that is it for the box it looks like there's nothing left in here so we can just throw this to the side okay so everything is out the box let's go ahead and total everything up to see if we got our money's worth so starting off for the headband i'm gonna say it's 42 dollars the yeezy butters 200 mint crew misfits t 48 bucks this gray faded mint crew t i'm gonna say 30 dollars for the mint crew track pants i'm gonna say that this was 75 bucks now the sphere of god jeans i was super surprised about this these retailed for $200. For the Supreme side bag, $32. For the Supreme Zippo lighter, I'm gonna say 42 bucks. For these on track pants, I'm gonna say $54. This Adidas hoodie, I'm gonna say maybe 30 bucks, 20 to 30. The balls, I'm gonna say maybe $5 a piece. Um, we're gonna go with that. And for the button, another $5. And then for the Yeezy Moivs, I'm gonna say $300, which is retail. So here is the total. I'm gonna go ahead and say I got my money's worth because this is one of the best boxes I've gotten. There was no fake items, everything was legit. So I'm super happy about that. You know, I didn't get no troll items. I didn't get anything fake. So it's a win in my book. Now, if I had to pick a favorite, it would probably be between the butters and this headband. Anyway, I definitely enjoyed making this video. If you guys enjoyed this one, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Helps me out a lot. If you are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my Instagram, of course. If you guys watched up to this point, thank you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.